Hello everyone, this is Play Madness, and welcome to day three of the new Steam free-to-play things. This is the first traditional MMO I'll be covering. This is Forsaken World. Now, again, as usual, never played this game, know nothing about it other than what the races are. You got your normal human elf who's got a really cool whole arm axe sword thingy. Powerful melee fighters for elves. That's interesting. Oh no, that's the description of their description of their class. I have to say, I'm already really liking the character design thingy. You have your dwarf who's pretty freaking funny looking. Apparently dwarves can only be marksmen. That's strange. Stone man, which I really want to say is influenced by D&D's Warforged. And you have your kindred, which are dark elves, perhaps? And apparently you can be vampires. Which heal themselves, shape shift. Um, yeah, sure, why not? I'm kind of interested in what the vampire. Wait, is that a? I thought I was. I thought I was making a male. I I want to make a male, but that does not look at all like a male. But it seems that. Only kindred can be vampires, and hey, I'm kind of interested in the whole vampire thing. It's not something I've heard of, so guess we'll stick with it. Even though these guys are honestly kind of feminine. Now, not not saying there's anything particularly wrong with being feminine, mind, mind you. It's just, you know... Not really my... Th really? That's the difference between face pattern 1 and 2? Is his one lip? Yeah, that's dumb. I'm gonna go for the red thing. Skin? At least you don't have to be a crazy pale dude. Um, I'll go for the darker blue, I suppose. <laughs> it's called hairdo. That's funny. Okay, really? Really? This looks more feminine than most of the women in other MMOs that I've played. I really wish I could be a vampire in some other... Really? What is that? That's just ridiculous. <laughs> These are the most feminine men in the history of MMOs. I'm honestly kind of scared. If this is what the guys look like, what do the girls look like? Fine, I'll be Sephiroth. And you know what? White hair is perfectly fine because I'm obviously going to be Sephiroth. Um, do I have to be born on a specific day? Yes, I am a Pisces. Thank you for noticing. And my name? Um, my name will be Franklin. Create. Name already taken. Can I be Samuel? I'm Samuel the Vampire. Let's do that with two M's. Samuel. Already taken. Samuel. Samuel. You know what, then? My name will be Eldring. Eldring. There. You want you don't want me to have a normal name? I will be the most ridiculous name I could think of in 30 seconds. Also, the loading screen is going in two different directions. Ooh, congregation. Nice little word there. And these guys look a little bit strange. I'm I'm kind of worried about my choice of race. 
I honest I honestly wanted to be the rock guys, but he could only be protector and protector sounds like a tank and I don't want to tank in a game that I don't really know about. Cuz heck, I've been playing World of Warcraft for 5 years and I'm a terrible tank. All right, game, whenever you want to load is, you know, perfectly fine with me. Any minute now. And I know I have a decent computer because this is a brand new computer. It's got four core thingies in it, so it should be going faster than this. Alright, we're almost there. Volume 1, Chapter 20. What, is this a quote from a book? I can't imagine what, what kind of book would have that kind of quote in it. The Forsaken Revelation. And then Eldrith turned to his kin and declared over the battlefield, When you are overcrowded by players, hold shift and left click to select an NPC blocked by the congregation of others. And there was much cheering and happiness as they charged into battle with their knowledge that shift left click could allow them to target NPCs. Any second now. Any second now. Now I picked vampire because they said that they had like shape shifting and massive like burst damage capabilities, but like if you're a priest or a mage or an assassin, it's predictable what your class can do. At least if you have, n even if you've never played this game before. But vampire, what exactly is the vampire going to do? That doesn't really give any sort of insight into how they play. So let's demonstrate. I am just trying to fill dead air while this game loads incredibly slowly. There we go. Oh, I timed I timed out? What? Oh. What is what? I'm what so many things. Okay, there is there is a thing. I am so lanky. Okay, there is click to move. I'm not terrible fan terribly large fan of that but it's not a bad thing can't remember how long I've been asleep everything's a blur blah 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 oh why are things just popping up I'm not even pressing anything I already have two main two quests what is this you can auto root What are these? Da 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 You auto route, so I can just automatically run to the end of the quest. Okay, what is this? Um, take all, I suppose. New gear acquired. Okay. <laughs> there are just... I guess I'm getting items. Life spring. Cures up to five. No, I do not want to turn sh sticky keys on. I guess this is your starting equipment. Blood drinkers stuff, obviously. Okay, looks like I'm not the only vampire here. Awakening. If you want to read any of this, pause and read it, because... Oh, God! 
Gains 2% of target's health while attacking. Okay. Wait, why didn't that actually go onto my bar? What is going on? I am confused on so many levels. This game is not terribly... Okay, there we go. Um, deals 100% of attack plus 299, costs 1% of max health, and deals damage equal to health lost. Reducing, reduces target's accuracy. Why can't I jump as a bat? Okay, and that restores my health. Okay. And then that one drains 2% of the target's health when attacking. And we have a town portal. Which hurts stone, obviously. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's map or something or something else? The transformation was so sudden. Must be an exit somewhere. Need to find an exit. Is that an exit? Let's go find out. Oh, 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 okay. That was... No, don't auto-move. That was certainly interesting. La da da da. I suppose I got a thing. I got a title. Heir of the Blood. That's that's on. That's pretty cool. La la la. Take the fire of judgment. With the count outside. Okay. Who are you? Take a souvenir that's place from the tome behind me. Alrighty. That thing? I hope it's this thing. Up. Oh, okay. I guess I completed a, a quest. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool thing. Um, can't necessarily say that this game has a fast, um, has a necessarily fast beginning. It doesn't necessarily catch my interest right away. And these animations are kind of stiff and not really that interesting to watch. Although that's kind of a minor detail. We have a cutscene! They're going to watch over and protect us. Okay. Um. I do like the design of this place, it's pretty cool. Um, oh, oh, why are things moving? What is this, just like a free... Why did my frame rate just drop? This is just like free stuff? I don't know exactly what that was. A basic arcane bloodstone. Soul Force trinkets can be upgraded doing something, something, something. Dance Floor of Blood. Okay. Deals lethal damage to all normal monsters. What, is that just a, a win button? Just an instant I kill you button? Let 
limited time. What is... This game is really confusing, I, I have to admit. I'm not entirely sure what's going on, and it's not doing very much to help me figure out what's going on. Oh, hello, Dragos. Um... What am I supposed to do? Take a candle burning with the fire of judgment from the altar. So I guess I have to go down here and get burning candle. Doesn't seem to be any sort of auto run. At least none that I can find. Oh yeah, numlock. Of course, same as wow. And what is on your back? That is a big cross. Is this the candle thingy? Mm, apparently not. There's a candle thingy. Altar of Judgment, so I'm kind of sure that's where the Fire of Judgment is. Very nice. Alright, so, playing the game for a couple minutes now, I have to say... Very raw first impressions are... Eh, doesn't seem to be anything necessarily great about it, honestly. I mean, it is an MMO, so it probably takes a while to get started. But it doesn't hook me like the other games I've played have hooked me. I don't trust your... You don't trust yourself to stay your wrath. Okie dokie. I got a crux. To prove useful and provide answers. Alrighty. I've got a giant cross on my back. Whoa! So yeah, while it may not hook me right away like the other games have, the environment and the art direction is really, really nice. I like it quite a lot. Uh, I'll just wrap a dog or something. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Okay, why couldn't you just go over there and talk to her yourself? She's right there. You could probably reach her with a with a shout. I leveled up. That's pretty cool. Speak with Henrik. He's the only survivor of there was a recent attack apparently. Okay, let's go find the lonely old man. I, I do say that um, the female models are eh, not, eh, not a huge fan. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like pretty girls as much as, as much as the next guy, but they seem to be almost exploitative. I mean, I know, yeah, it's a video game, that's kind of par for the course, but... And I've always been kind of iffy about things like that. I'm not terribly happy about the whole, oh, women are just things to be looked at attitude that video games have. And this whole auto-navigate thing is a little bit strange. It's not something I would have necessarily pegged as a good decision. What happened to the village? Wolves? So, I guess all kindred are vampires. At least that's what I'm getting from here. They took Sarah, now they're coming for me. Stop them! So, I guess we have to go kill wolves? 
or something? Let's go this way. I guess that's not a terrible thing. That's kind of a natural... Kind of a natural extension of... I have to, that is a... That's a pretty cool looking battle animation. Yeah, like I said, it's a nice looking game. That is incredibly apparent. It's just I'm not necessarily sold immediately on I don't know, the concept. It doesn't bite me. If that's not the creepiest way I could have said that. It doesn't draw me in immediately like a lot of other games I've played do. But the combat is satisfying, at least as far as MMOs go. The the graphics are nice, the art direction's pretty good. I like that you blow away the enemies with your last hit. That really gives me a sense of actually hitting these guys. Although, I can't help but wonder if I'm maybe a little bit overpowered. Even though I am just starting. I, f I feel like I have a lot of power, but I feel like I have a lot more power than anything I'm fighting. Like, these guys don't give me any sort of threat or challenge. I'm just, you know, mowing through them. Look at that. I haven't lost... I haven't lost a hundred health in that whole thing. Although, I suppose it's not a terrible thing. And this auto-run feature, auto-navigate, I suppose is a natural extension of a quest helper. Since... Heck, why not just let us go directly to the objective rather than just giving us an arrow in the direction of the objective? It's essentially the same thing. And the... the oh, that's, that's convenient. You can toggle those bars. The bar isn't exactly centered in the middle of the screen, which is irritating. You stood like a man, stood like a man, but ran like a wolf. There's a lot of stuff going on on screen at any one time, which is pretty cool. Again, I'm not seeing anything terribly bad with this game other than the fact that it, it seems to be kind of slow. And there's not a whole lot of... There's not a whole lot of information on what exactly is going on. There's not a whole lot of... Like, tutorial stuff. It just kind of drops you. Which is... A good thing or a bad thing. Because it's a good thing because it shows that the game is easy and straightforward to play, but a bad thing because it's easy and straightforward to play because it takes a lot from other hotkey MMOs. I have a feeling I would be getting a lot more out of this if I were reading these things, but no one wants to sit here and watch me read. Uh, Bloodthirsty Power Potion. Improves combat capacity in every category. Okay. Um, what is this? Are these, like, alarms for world events or something or other?
Eh, let's run. There's a lot of running. And I'm not entirely impressed with the running animation, at least of this character. And I'm not impressed by the little skirt thing he has, either. It's not necessarily the greatest thing I've ever seen. But it does seem to be mostly user-friendly, and the combat was very... The combat was... responsive. Seemed very quick. I was going to say I was concerned by the fact that you could only see... Oh, jeez, that does go very big. You could only see four lines at... Or five lines of the chat at a time, but I suppose it's fixable. And both of these quests are going to Arizona, so let's go. So yeah, this seems to be very user-friendly, but I'm not entirely sure that's a great thing. This seems to be really easy. I mean, you have auto-run directly to the quest guy, or quest objective at least. You have an instant kill button. And... Yeah, I guess we're... Completing quests and stuff. Undead carry phosphor powder these days. So, I guess we have to go... Yeah, we're gonna kill zombies, so let's go kill some things. And... Well, that's a... That's a good sign. You can... They, they know enough to give you two different quest objectives and put both of the quest objectives in the same area. And is my auto attack a... Yeah, my auto attack is a ranged attack. So I guess this is... I'm a ranged class, which... The game isn't doing too terrible... Or too terribly good of a job of telling me what my class does. Which... I could use with... A, I, could, I could go for a bit more feedback. And the normal... And by normal, I mean the old World of Warcraft strafing buttons, Q and E, actually open your quests and... I don't know, is this your... spell book? I mean, it's nice to have them on hand, but muscle memory... and... well, I suppose not everyone playing this is coming out of WoW. Speaking of WoW, um, would anyone want to see WoW content, because I know a lot of people do a lot of WoW content, but that's generally what I'm doing when I'm not recording, so if you want more content, I can always, you know, play WoW and record it and commentate it. I know it can be kind of boring, but hey, if it's, if you guys want to see it, I'll do it, because I am slaves to the subscribers. That's not really true, but whatever. I'm liking the look of the combat. It's very channeling skirt. Did I get a Did I get an item off that guy? Yeah, I got pants. I got the starter pants, so not really a big thing. You know what? Let's let's try the instant kill button. Oh, God! Well... And it's got a 10 second cooldown! Alright, that's just ridiculous. I mean, it uses up all of your soul force, which doesn't seem to return fairly quickly, but... If there's a way to, like, regain your soul force more quickly than your default charging, that's going to be the most overpowered thing in any MMO I've ever played, and that's not an exaggeration. That's ridiculous. Um, Strange Well Water. Let's 
Let's go to the well and get some well water. Since apparently that's what's making the zombies. That's what I got from the five seconds that I read that. And by five seconds, I mean not five seconds. I mean, like, two seconds. And head back to Urzana. But I think once we hand these quests into Urzana, I'm going to call it the end of the video. Because I've been playing for a pretty good amount of time. And like I've been saying, very pretty game. Not entirely sure if it has enough substance to keep me playing. But I will continue to play and maybe I'll follow it up with some other that is not what I wanted to do I got a strong mana spring but yeah this is this final thoughts are there emotes no there are no emotes which is saddening it makes me very uh, it makes me very sad or are there emotes? Oh no, those are just smileys you can put into... <sighs> oh well. C'est la vie. Very pretty looking. Not very much feedback. Doesn't really tell you what your class does, although that might change with different classes. Or maybe they thought it was going to be self-apparent. Either way, um, not really crazy about the way it the way it does that. Graf the graphics assets are very nice. Pretty cool. You know, particle effects on the blah, 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 things on the ground. And I guess I'll stick with it. See what it looks like after a few levels. See if there's any sort of group content. I'm assuming there is. Any sort of dungeons. But I'm really, really not digging the whole, my guy looks like a woman, and the whole, hey, we're going to make our girls wear the skimpiest, most take advantage of the fact that they are girls' clothing. So, not an entirely good thing. And yeah, this guy's saying LFM, so there's obviously um, group content. Though, yeah, um, i not terribly impressed, but I guess I'll stick with it, see if it gets better in the future. My name has been Play Madness, and I will see you tomorrow.